The Kurds have vowed to protect their territory against the Turkish offensive in northeastern Syria at all costs. But they're unlikely to match up to the military might of Ankara. After the United States, the Turkish army is the second largest military force in NATO, with an estimated permanent personnel of nearly 640,000 in 2015. Having already launched two operations in northern Syria, Turkish troops have experienced fighting in the region. By March 2017, Turkey had cleared most of northern Aleppo province of Islamic State group and Kurdish fighters with help from the Free Syrian Army. And early last year, Turkish forces seized the Kurdish canton of Afrin. The Kurdish-aligned Syrian Democratic forces have gained a lot of experience fighting jihadists alongside allied American troops. But after the U.S.'s withdrawal, war-weary Kurdish forces risk being swept away by Turkey. The SDF have lost an estimated 11,000 fighters in their battle against the IS group. Without Washington, it also lacks the armor, artillery and air power of a modern military force such as Turkey. For Kurdish fighters and the Syrian people, Operation Peace Spring is another round of fighting in an agonizingly long war.